Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. That's a composition by a man whose name is Jimmy Heath, who is a saxophone player. And it's called um, Big P. It's dedicated to his older brother, Percy Heath. So it's a nice tribute. We would like to keep going without too much in the way of, from me. Because I, I have a way of giving off quite a bit. This next tune is a new composition by Nat Adderley. That's our brass section here. It's, <laughs> it's, um, it's a piece that's influenced by the music that is most commonly heard in New Orleans in the United States. This one's dedicated to a great piano player whose name is Emma Barrett, who works in, sometimes in a place called Preservation Hall, other times in Dixieland Hall and so forth. But anyhow, everybody calls her Sweet Emma, Sweet Emma. So my brother Nat loves her, as we all do, and he has written a song for her, which is, obviously <laughs> entitled Sweet Emma.
Sweet Emma. Thank you. Sweet Emma. Thank you. This is a very lovely room. And all those names of those other fellas who came from Austria. You know, our pianist, I'm sure most of you folks know, is the Viennese. <laughs> and um, we accuse him of making superior performances when we play in Austria. You know, like uh, he, he has something to display. I don't know what it is, but I, I always get a little bit concerned. Not that he doesn't play well all the time, but I get the feeling that he gets a little extra momentum. You know. <laughs> Anyhow, his name is Joseph Zavinu. <laughs> yeah. We like to we like to say that the last hip pianist from Vienna before Joseph was another guy named Joe Brahms, who was <laughs> fairly cool. <laughs> he used to play, you know, something like Joe beautifully. Anyhow, Joe also writes. He writes more of our music than anybody else, and mostly because he does it better, I guess, than most of the rest of us. So we do quite a bit of his music, and we call him a musical chameleon. We never know how it's going to sound and what it's going to mean, you know. It comes meaning so many different things. Like this piece that we're about to do now, it's called 74 Miles Away. Now that's, maybe it's significant because we are somewhat more than 74 miles away from Vienna today, but he's getting closer all the time, and he's, maybe it's, he's thinking about it. He's closer today than he was yesterday in Bordeaux. So here we go with Mr. Zavinu's classic, 74 Miles Away.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 74 miles away. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, that's so kind of you. We're going to continue while we're on the subject of Joe's Avenue, our pianist. You notice that I call him Zavinu. I don't call him Savinu, because it's too difficult for me to say Savinu. So I say Zavinu. And that's better than what Pee Wee Marquette and people like that who have been mispronouncing his name for years call him, call him Zavinoff. <laughs> All sorts of things. And some other people have other colorful names for him that, that don't really fit. And <laughs> But when, one thing about Joseph is he's a great pianist. He's not just a good pianist. He plays with both hands, or <laughs> either hand, or each of them simultaneously. And he makes music, which is very interesting. <laughs> the music, that is. <laughs> this next thing, I don't know what it's going to be, because it's something that we constantly leave to his pleasure. He's one of the few guys who can really play a piano solo, so we remove all the obstacles from in the way. He won't be playing with our bassist, drummer, or our brass section, or our saxophone section. Mr. Zavinu, ladies and gentlemen, we present Playing Alone. Joe Zavinu. <laughs>
Joe's Avenue. Joe's Avenue, our great pianist, ladies and gentlemen. James, 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 yeah. Move it on. Thank you very much. Yes, he will do these things. <laughs> yes. I, I told you that we refer to him as a musical chameleon because um, he changes his spots so often. Yeah. Here's a piece that's called Walk Tall. It is also composed by Joe Zavinu. It's um, a different kind of expression. I, I, I want to call it colloquial, and it is not colloquial. I want to call it slang, and it is not slang. It's, uh, I don't know, it's, a, it's an expression used by black people in the United States to refer to um, uh, a social circumstance where one has to keep on going <laughs> to survive within the framework of the system. You see? Because uh, we have a very unusual system. <laughs> and uh, walk tall is something that we say to each other when someone seems to be faltering, when he seems to almost not make it. We say, walk tall, baby. So he continues to go ahead. So it has nothing at all to do with being a pedestrian, or it has nothing to do with one's physical dimensions. <laughs> Walk tall. Anyhow, this piece is dedicated to the folks who have to walk tall by Joe Zavino. Walk tall. Thank you very much. Joe Zavin, it was walk tall. You know, we never know when the microphones are going to be on here. They uh, go.
go on and off at the discretion of a very imaginative engineer. <laughs> Sometimes we get caught right in the middle of trying to do something we think is clever and there's no sound. <laughs> That's why we like independent sound systems. Let the radio have its sound and the band have its own sound and we can do what we want to do and they do what they want to do and everybody's happy. <laughs> But when they take care of our business, it's a drag. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because they make judgments based on what they think we're supposed to do, and we make judgments based on what we think we're supposed to do, and there's a definite conflict of interest. <laughs> Anyhow, Joe Zavinul is good. You know, I never thought that a young man from Landstrasse, Hauptstrasse would be able to write that kind of music. <laughs> comes from <laughs> Soulville in Vienna, we call it. <laughs> soulful part of town. You know, that is a very soulful tune. I have, we have another song that he has written that we think really reflects sort of like the ultimate and what soul represents. It's one that we never thought would be as, uh, so popular as it became. But then that's the way things are. This next thing is Joe Zavinu's famous Mercy, Mercy, Mercy. <laughs> to have to stop for a very brief period of time, ladies and gentlemen, in order to um, expedite arranging the next half of the program. However, on behalf, once again, of our great pianist, Joe Zavinu, our brass section, my brother, Nat Adderley Cornette, our great bassist is Victor Gaskin, you'll be hearing from him, and our beautiful drummer is Roy McCurdy. Thank you very much, we'll see you again very shortly.